Hello everyone. In this session, we'll discuss checkbox, another UI control. Now, actually, the checkbox is used for more than one choices to the user. That means when we are having more than one choice for the selection. So it can be used in the scenario where the user is prompted to select for more than one option. Say, for example, you want to select the uh, your choice of FM which you listen regularly. So there are more than one FM we use to listen every day. So in that case choice box is used. But actually it is different from radio button in the sense that we can select more than one choice box whereas in case of radio button we can only select one option at a time. So the cho choice box allows you to select multiple values. Now the constructors which are required to make the choice box are the empty constructor. The first one is empty constructor. So it creates the checkbox with empty string for its label. The choice checkbox would be there, but no label would be there. But if we want the checkbox with label, then we need to provide the text as an argument to the constructor of the checkbox. So it creates the checkbox with the corresponding text along with the checkbox. Let's see an example for creating a checkbox. So for making checkbox, the packages required are javafx.scene.control. Now control package is a package which contains all the UI controls of JavaFX. Now in that case, we create our class. Then in that case, we start with void main, which calls the launch method. Then our start method. In that start method, we want to create the checkbox. Now the checkbox. For that, we are creating one label. We are making one simple application. What do you want? What do you listen? So label with text, what do you listen? Then the checkbox, four checkbox we had created. The checkbox object C1 equals to new checkbox and the text big FM. That means the first checkbox with big FM text. Checkbox C2 equals to new checkbox radio mirchi. So second checkbox with text radio mirchi. Third checkbox with text red FM and fourth checkbox with text my FM. Now these all four checkbox are created, but we need to add them to our scene graph. Now in that case, we are creating one H box. So H box root equals to new H box. And to add all this node to the H box, what we are doing is we are getting the children of the H box. So root dot get children dot add all. So what you want to add? Add all means starting with the label, the label L then c1 c2 c3 and c4 all for checkbox the sequence is important in add all method whatever is the sequence you provide accordingly you will be getting the output and in hbox we are providing the spacing of five so between all these ui controls or all these nodes there would be a spacing of five now this root is to be added to scene and scene to stage so this is our as usual task scene scene equals to new scene root uh, with 450 height 100 and the scene is set to the stage so primary stage dot set scene and set title so we are setting the title for the stage so primary stage dot set title checkbox example and primary stage dot show so this is how the checkbox is created let's see the output so this is what you'd be getting the output now let us try to run the program so this is your program so this program is to be executed. Let me run it. So as you see, what do you listen? Big FM, Radio Mirchi, Red FM or My FM. You can select any of them. So can you see this? There is a checkbox selection which you can do. Fine. So this is how the checkbox is created. But say for example, initially I want to set some checkbox to be by default enabled means true. So in that case, what I'm doing is say for example, Radio Mirchi, we want to make it as default checkbox. That means we want to make it as ticked one. So what I will be writing in the case of Radio Mirchi, C2 dot set selected and the value we need to provide is boolean value true or false. So set selected true. By default, it is always false. Let me save it and let us run it. So you can see Radio Mirchi is set to be checked, whereas all other are not checked. So this value you can change, but this is the default value you can set. So this is how the checkbox are created in using Java FX. So in next session, we'll see few more controls. That's it. Thank you.